Hi, thanks for joining me for today's devotion. Reading from Acts chapter 20. Be shepherds of the church of God, which he bought with his own blood. I know that after I leave, savage wolves will come in among you and will not spare the flock. Now I commit you to God and to the word of his grace, which can build you up and give you an inheritance among all those who are sanctified. We need our good shepherd, Jesus, watching over us, sheep. We wandering sinners have turned our backs on our Lord too many times to count how quickly we slip into worry, how words of bitterness flow when there should be gentle words. But Jesus, our good shepherd, bought us with his own blood, and now we need him guarding and protecting us each day. In our text, we hear the Apostle Paul appointing elders to oversee the spiritual welfare of the people as he is about to leave. He says, be shepherds of the church of God, which he bought with his own blood. What a great idea. Appoint under shepherds to continue carrying forward the work and the words of Jesus, the good shepherd. But Paul didn't come up with the idea. It is the Lord himself who has established the public ministry of the gospel for the good of his people. Still to this day, we see people who are called by the Lord to watch over us and guide us with God's word. We hear a teacher speaking forgiveness to a repentant student. We see Kids Bible Hour leaders connecting kids to God's word. We see a staff minister equipping and encouraging saints for service through Bible study. We watch a pap pastor baptizing a baby. We see an elder distributing communion. And we are all grateful for those faces, those voices, but we know who is behind it all. It's his voice, his words. Jesus, our good shepherd, is keeping us close to him. My fellow sheep, bought with the blood of Jesus, our good shepherd. Be the sheep God the Holy Spirit has called you to be. Listen to the voice he has taught you to know. Run to your good shepherd. Listen to the public ministers he's called to watch over you. Cling to his word and sacraments. Stay close to the flock of fellow believers where God has placed you. How does it feel to be a sheep? Well, we're so needy, so helpless. If we didn't have such a good shepherd, it would be demoralizing to learn that we don't have the natural abilities we wish we had. But we have just the shepherd we need, and that changes everything. He has bought us with his blood. We are precious in God's sight. He calls to us in his word of grace, and he leads us to follow him down righteous paths, safe from all our enemies, toward the eternal inheritance he has won for us. Yes, sheep are needy. Yes, every sheep needs a shepherd, but... When you know the shepherd we know, we want nothing more than to be his sheep. Jesus is our good shepherd. See you next time.